YouTubers, and welcome to this week's rant. Today we're going to be taking a look at some of these uh, small dust collectors that uh, a lot of home shop users use and attempt to modify. And um, there's a few things that you need to be aware of if you're going to attempt a modification, and uh, we'll take a closer look at that and why it is not a good idea to actually conduct the modification. Now, uh, there's been a few folks out there in YouTube land that have done that and then sitting around scratching their head, well, gee, this thing doesn't work anymore. Oh, it must be junk. Uh, you got to keep in mind that this scaled down version of this or this. This is a 100 and, or a 16 inch and this is a 10 inch. And here you can see how the motor and drive shaft system is set up, how the volute is constructed here as well. This is a shaft direct mounted impeller and uh, or uh, direct, directly mounted on the on the motor, I should say. And this is a shaft driven model where the uh, ratios are, are a little different. The motor spins a little faster than the shaft of the impeller. Now what separates these units from the pictures of the ones I just showed you is not so much the configuration, they're you know pretty well universal. They're, you know, there's a volute, there's an impeller, and of course the pipes. Um, these things are designed to move air and then also material. Now in the larger units you have uh, a closed faced impeller, in these smaller ones you have an open faced impeller. And this is the difference. This is, here's the picture. So now you see a closed faced impeller and the funnel that goes along with it. Now an open faced impeller has one big drawback to it, it has immense recirculation losses. So when the air enters into the balloon or into the casing, the housing, uh, some of the air is recirculated continuously within the balloon and can't escape. Um, for various reasons for displacement of, of air through uh, the material coming in and so on. Um, now, if you were to take one of these units and put a small impeller like a closed faced impeller into it, the problem with it is that uh, the outer perimeter is going to be so narrow that the, the material going through it will have to be very fine. So you're pretty much limited to, to sawdust. Uh, Planer chips are automatically going to be too big just by default because the, the uh, outer perimeter is going to be so narrow that you won't be able to get hardly anything through it without plugging it up. The other problem is uh, small pieces such as this. Say on this uh, radial arm saw for example. Um, as the material goes up the tube, when you're cutting off, just taking small cuts off the end of a board, you're going to get some of that material go up the tube. And so then uh, what happens is some of these pieces will wedge in between the impeller and the housing, and then you have a real problem. Or um, <coughs> in the case of this unit here, it has a plastic impeller, and it might even take a fin off. 
or with a steel impeller bend fan. The vacuum that you generate with one of these open-faced impellers is not the same as you're going to get with a closed-faced impeller. It's just the way it is. It's in the design of the thing. You've got tremendous recirculation losses inside the balloon and housing of the, of the impeller. And so um, you're not going to get the same suction from one of these as you would, say, that large 10-inch unit we just looked at or the 16-inch unit we looked at. And both of those units have closed-faced impellers. You just saw the pictures. And uh, that's the reason they work so well. Um, high volume, high, high pressure, or high vacuum, if you want to call it that. Now, if you were to try to generate the same kind of vacuum on one of these hoses as you do a shop vac, you're going to collapse the hose. And that's part of the reason that they don't make these suck as hard as, say, the shop vac does. So if you're thinking about um, putting in a, a baffle, some folks have gone uh, and tried to modify these things where they put a garbage can underneath and introduced what's called the theme baffle. Uh, unfortunately, that system is designed for, it is designed for a garbage can, but it's designed for a shop vac. And a shop vac is a uh, high pressure, low volume system, whereas this, this unit is a high volume, low pressure system. And that's the reason it doesn't suck. Uh, it sucks, but it doesn't suck. At least it doesn't pick up any material the way it should. And that, again, is because of the impeller design. Um, the theme baffle is usually placed underneath somewhere uh, in the cone or in this, you know, this would be considered the, uh, the cyclone in this case. And they place the baffle between what, uh, what would be the cyclone and the, the, the bottom bag or uh, the garbage can. And the reason being for that is the uh, shop vac works on vacuum. It's pulling the material through the cyclone by vacuum. These are designed to use pressure to separate the material. So if you switch it over from a pressure system to a vacuum system, they're not going to work. Hope that uh, clarifies a few questions for those of you contemplating uh, getting into one of these units and or thinking about modifying it and putting in the theme depth. Again, don't. They work better without it. So that's my rant for this week, and uh, hopefully, to see you again soon.